Hey guys, Hilton here with Yellow Sky Actions, and tonight we're going to be doing a video tutorial on um, how to take a beautiful sunset and really make it pop, um, vibrant, and just stand out. Um, so this image tonight, um, a photographer by the name of uh, Johan Olsen um, sent this in, and uh if you're listening, Johan, we really appreciate it. Um, your photos are fantastic. Uh, this photo is absolutely beautiful. Caught my eye when I first saw it, so I had to work on it. So, um, well done. It was shot um, with a 5D Mark II, Canon 5D Mark II, and the exposure was 1 1 25th at uh, f16 was the aperture, and then the ISO was at 100. Um, so, again, well done with this image, uh, Johan. Um, but we're going to be working on it tonight within the uh, within CS3 through CS5 using our big bundle set. And I'm going to show you, here's the before right here, and then here's what we're going to end up with. So again, the before and the after. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing, the first thing we did was uh, we ran an action called It's Time to Shine in the Essential Set. All right. Now, the next step, once we've run that action, we're going to go into the action and we're going to click off the Shine Sharp click back on the mask and the reason why we're doing that is we were really want to um, uh, darken these rays to really so it really pops so click on this uh, white mask make sure the foreground's black paintbrush 16% uh, brush opacity is good I'm just going to darken these rays smaller okay click this shine sharp back on and the reason why we clicked off is because we didn't want to take off the shine sharp we want that those clouds and those rays to really pop out and, and sharpen up. So once we've run it's time to shine, the next step is an action within the smoke and effects called Blue Jean Baby. We're gonna run that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to click this mask, make sure the foreground's black, and we're just gonna brush off the Blue Jean Baby. We're gonna take it off the sky I say it around 50%. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into these clouds, see, because it made it, this action made it really dark. We want to bring those tones and those details in the clouds back. So we're going to brush it off. But what we're going to do is we're going to leave it on the um, the sunset with the, the rays and the, the oranges. We want those to really pop out at us. So, all right, there we are. Okay, um, you know. I even want to bring it back on the water she's had. And it really, it really it gives that contrast and takes your eye right in this area right here where, where you want it to go. Um, and this is, a, this is cool too. I mean, um, what is that like a... Um, Looks like a buoy or, or 
whatever it is. It's cool looking. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going to take it off that right there. The water. All right. Now, once we've done that, we're going to run an action called Autumn Ease. Also in the smoking effects. This is, should take a couple, a uh, few minutes to load. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to click off the autumn shark because we really don't need it. We've got enough. I mean, it looks great, but uh, I think, um, you know, with it, it's time to shine with a sharp layer, it, it really is enough for, for me personally. So we're going to click off that. Um, again, I'm going to go in. I'm going to click on, I'm going to click the whole layer and I'm going to brush it off the uh, sky because I really like those blues. So again, um, black foreground, brush. 50%. We're really going to bring this back. All right. I'm even going to bring it back in the cloud. So I'm going to drop the brush opacity down. Nina, what are you doing? Sorry, that's my dog. She's down here laying next to me, being crazy. Um, okay, so we're taking it off the clouds, just a touch. And we're going to leave it on those rays. And you know what I may do is, I may even drop the opacity just a little bit. Maybe down to 55, 50%. Perfect, right there. Okay. So the next step, we're going to go back up into the essential set and we're going to go click on dodge it, burn it. And we're going to dodge the sky. We're going to really brighten the sky. Make sure the brush opacity is at 20%. Remember the foreground's white because it's a black mask. All right, so once we've done that, we're going to click on another action. The essential is called Bring on the Blues. And this is going to make the, the, the blues in the, in, the, uh, in the sky really, really pop. So we're going to take the, this action to around 40%, 50%. We're going to take it to 40 now. But make sure that foreground's white. This mask is selected. And we're just going to brush on the blues and you can see those blues start to get more vibrant which is what we're going for now another step I forgot to go back now I want to go back to the dodge it and what I want to do is is I, you see these clouds in here look at the tones the whites and the darks what we're gonna do is like we did with the rays well what we did with the rays is we took off the um, we darkened um, the rays. We took off that. It's time to shine. But what we're going to do with this dodge it is we're going to dodge the the light areas of the clouds. At uh, let's let's do it at around 50 15 percent brush opacity, and we're just going to we're going to brighten these these clouds up a little bit just on the white areas. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want these clouds to really pop out at us, sort of like 3D effect, um, and it really brings the eye. Uh, down to those rays it's more appealing to the eye but all in all man this is a great shot um, I mean the quality of this image shot with this 5d is is exceptional um, I use a 5D Mark II, and I love it. Um, I mean, and, and you know, the smart thing about it, and Johan shot this at 100 ISO, and the reason why you want to shoot at 100 ISO is to really get that clean effect. Uh, and whenever I shoot outdoors, I'm assuming he does as well, 
um, is because the higher the ISO, the more grainy your your image can become. With the 5D Mark II, you can take it all the way up though to uh, you know 2500, even 3200 ISO, and it's still pretty clean. But um, if you take it to 100 ISO, especially if you're shooting outdoors, it'll be clean, clean, clean every time. No grain. Um, it's beautiful. Okay, there we have it. So we lighten the clouds. The next step I want to do is I want to run an action called Rainbow Sherbert, which is in the color set. And I'll show you why we'll do it. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this, and it looks hazy right now, so we're going to take that away. And we're going to brush it at around... 40% brush opacity and we're just going to take it off the cloud starting off okay and next step what we're going to do is we're going to take it off the sky And you know what this does is it's like a great it's a gradient. Um, it really draws your eye from top to bottom. And the colors you have the pinks in here. I mean, it just really explodes with with that color. And I think it gives it more dimension and it's more appealing to the eye. So what we're going to do is we're even going to drop the opacity lower and we're going to kind of blend this in even more as we brush it off. That way it's not too you know contrasting color. So that's looking wicked right there. Um, so the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run, and this is the last step, I'm going to run an action called Pink Sky in the Essential Set. Again, it's a brush, so the mask is black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush opacity, um, I say to 35%, and I'm just going to brush it on this middle mid area where the pinks are and the you know the pinkish oranges are so it really brings out those colors and I'm gonna go back to this rainbow I'm gonna clean up a little more and take it off these clouds right here because it's a little hazy Cool though, huh? Nina, what you doing? Sorry guys, my dog is over here attacking me with kisses. <laughs> okay. So that's it. Um, beautiful photo. Johan, I really appreciate you sending this in. Um, I hope this helps you guys out there, all you other photographers out there that are watching this, that's watching this video. Again, here's the before, and then here's the after. Huge difference, more vibrant. Um, so, again, I hope this helps. Uh, feel free to post comments uh, on our forum and Facebook when we post this video. And um, you guys have a great night.